Hi everyone, so I'm finally able to get back to making review videos. I wasn't being able to make one yesterday, but my sister decided that she was going to spend all day in her room, so I don't really feel comfortable recording videos when there are other people upstairs. So that's why I didn't get one done yesterday, but I'm going to get a few recorded tonight so that I have them to upload. Just in case I won't be able to get any videos filmed tomorrow or Friday, but I should be able to get a few done tomorrow before I go to work. So today I'm here with a review of Wuthering Tights by Louise Renison. Louise Renison was one of my favourite authors when I was in high school. I absolutely adored the George Nicholson series and it was just such a hilariously funny series that um, I absolutely adored and I always meant to pick up the Tallulah Casey series uh, when it first came out uh, but I never did and I picked this one up in a charity shop for like a pound and um, after The Fault in Our Stars I was feeling really sad so I decided to pick this up because I needed a bit of crazy characters and a funny storyline and this just didn't disappoint. So Wuthering Tights follows our main character Tallulah Casey who is cousins with Georgia. Tallulah is heading down to Dodder Hall performing arts college for six weeks and she's going to live with a family down there because she never got her forms filled in for the dorms on time. This book was just absolutely hilarious. It was full of so many funny moments, so many cute guys, and it was just lots of fun. Tallulah was such an amazing character. I love that Louise Renison's characters are so wacky and bonkers. They just make me laugh so much. I've never came across anyone like Tallulah, but I'd probably definitely want to be her friend if I did because she'd make life interesting. I adored learning about her and reading about everything she was going through. Um, I was cringing sometimes at moments that were really funny. Uh, Tolo was a really awkward and hilarious character and I just loved her. Tolo's friends cracked me up too. Ruby was my favourite though. Uh, I don't know what this book would be without Ruby because she's practically as nuts as Georgia and I just adore her. Alex was definitely my favourite of the love interests. Um, I know there was another one other than Kane, uh, but I don't remember his name right now. I think he's called Charlie. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, there were three guys that were, well, three main guys that were in the book, and it was Alex, Kane, and Charlie. And by far, Alex is my favourite, and I'm hoping that maybe they'll get together in the next book. But we'll just have to wait and see. The storyline was just absolutely hilarious. I couldn't believe that Dollar Hall was a performing arts college because the syllabus and the classes were just so bonkers and so crazy that I just don't understand how they would be able to get any qualifications from it. But um, it did make for a really funny and hilarious read. Overall, this was such a really great book to read when I was sad. It cheered me up really quickly. It was hilarious, full of bonkers characters and just so much fun. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, Louise Jensen's books. If you're looking for something really light and funny, uh, she writes amazing books, amazing characters, and yeah, definitely give her a read if you haven't. So I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. So that was my review for Wuthering Tights by Louise Renison. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.